the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. You wouldn't know it by the weather we've had lately, but on this day back in 1997, we were in the middle of a nasty ice storm. It's been really quiet lately, and that's how it will continue heading through the next couple of days. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, mixing with a few clouds in the afternoon and temperatures right around average for this time of year. But it's Thursday and Friday that we really warm up the numbers with highs climbing into the low 60s. We do have a chance for some rain or some showers heading into the start of the weekend, but right now it doesn't look like anything too significant. Taking a look at the satellite and radar here, at least close to home, things are really quiet, but we are going to be watching this system here developing in the southeast for that possible rain over the weekend. But for tonight, heading into tomorrow morning, we're looking at overnight lows in the mid 20s to right around 30 degrees. So you might want to leave yourself a few extra minutes just to quickly scrape the frost off the windshield tomorrow. Here's that sun shine to begin the day, but watch as we head through the mid to late afternoon. We'll start to see more clouds entering the picture. I think tomorrow temperatures will be very similar to what we dealt with today, but today we also had that gusty kind of biting breeze at times that added a wind chill factor. I don't think that we have that factor, or at least it's not as noticeable tomorrow, so it might feel a little bit more comfortable. Then watch as those temperatures climb from 50 tomorrow to near 60. 60 degrees on Thursday. Thursday likely the nicest day of the week because not only is it mild, but it's also sunny too. Heading into Friday, while temperatures will be similar, we'll see more cloud cover. So those clouds increasing on Friday as the system gets closer to us. There's actually a cold front approaching, and at the same time, we have this offshore storm. Right now, I'm feeling more confident that we make it right through the day Friday dry, but late Friday night into Saturday morning, there is a chance that we get brushed by this system. Yesterday, it looked a lot closer to us and like everybody could get rain, but today it's a bit farther east, farther offshore. That might mean that rain is more prominent in eastern Connecticut during the day on Saturday, and some in the western half of the state may miss out entirely. It's too soon to kind of lock it in. I just wanted to let you know that the trend has been farther east, which is better news for Saturday if you have plans. Whether this storm affects us or not, it does look like we are dry heading into Saturday afternoon and on Sunday as well. We will start to see the temperatures drop after this brief increase in the numbers for Thursday and Friday. We're back down into the 40s as we head towards this time next week, and there is a chance next week for some rain either Tuesday, Wednesday or both. Wednesday we know a big travel day, but it does look like we dry out in time for Thanksgiving, guys.